This has not been in a tent or anything where the humidity has been controlled or supplemented. So we received this plant as a small cutting September 14th of last year, and it's now the end of September. So it's been just over a year since we got it. It arrived in a small cup with one leaf and some stratum. We let it sit in there for about two months and we weren't really noticing much root growth or leaf growth. So we decided to pull the plant out to check it out. And of course, when we did it, we didn't actually see that much growth. So we went ahead and moved it to one of our regular aeroid mixes and let it keep growing that way. A couple months later, we moved it to this clear moss pole and put it up on the wall. And ever since then, it's been in this room. This is May 16th. July 5th, August 16th, and then this is today. Even we're really surprised by how fast it's been growing. A lot of the albos that we see, you know, tend to be really tall, but then they don't really have the inner fenestrations. And we're not quite sure what's causing our plant to be so happy. It's probably a mix of everything. The moss pole, the nutrients, the light, a little bit of warmth from the summer. So we're like really excited to see what happens as it keeps growing. This is the kitchen of our workshop. We're on the second floor of a warehouse. So we're kind of at the mercy of the weather outside. So when it's hot in the summer, it's hot up here when it's cold in the winter it's cold up here unfortunately we don't get all the benefits of the outdoor humidity too what we find is the humidity kind of stays in between 45 and 60 percent in the summertime the temperatures ranged from high 70s to high 80s which is pretty hot definitely hotter than most home environments and that definitely played a role in the growth of this plant I only had this tiny leaf over here. And so that's about a leaf a month that we're seeing in these warmer conditions. So this lives full time right here where the Anthurium hybrid is. So as you can see, it's got a Rousseau pendant light angled above it, about three feet away from the top of the plant set to the widest beam angle. We just took a light reading and it's measuring about 500 foot candles. And we've got this on for about 12 hours a day. So when you do the math, that gives you a DLI of about five, which is well into the high growth range. Pretty soon we're gonna add a second light to it because what we find is our lights do great for about a, a three foot diameter and we're right about that limit. So we wanna have a light pointing towards the middle and a little bit towards the top so that the plant can continue to grow up without losing the light on the bottom of the leaves. When you stop shining light on the bottom of the leaves, that's when we find things start to get yellow and as you can see the light has been doing a great job at keeping this plant happy so watering and nutrients we've been watering this when the front of the moss pole is about dry which is about every three to five days depending on conditions up here in the summertime it's definitely on the lower end but we feel like we could push it if it wasn't so hot up here we always use aeroid food and healthy root with every watering we only use our products on our plants because we want to give you guys a realistic expectation of what happens when you use our nutrients and so far, like every plant that we've been growing with it have been loving it. So let's talk a little bit about the moss pole that it's growing on. So this is two things. One, it is the clear starter moss poles that we sell on our website. So these are a folded clear plastic moss pole that open from the front. So if we ever wanted to propagate this, we could just pop open the front and slip the whole root system out. But we don't plan on doing that anytime soon, but it's good to know we can if we wanted to. You can see it's supported by one of our wood supports. So we recently released these and have been selling them. And what this does is it gives the clear moss pole something stable. And then it also allows us to hang them from the wall. Yeah, this would be fine without the pole, but we like adding the pole just to have that extra support so that when you're moving it around, it's not tippy or anything like that. Like it's, it's rock solid. Hopefully this video is part of a new series where we talk about some of our plants and how we've been growing them. Plant care is really complicated. There are a ton of variables involved and it can be really difficult to figure out exactly what's what and where a lot of the success is coming from. So I wanna share as much as I can about as many plants as I can so that together we can all figure out exactly what makes these plants happy.